Hello everyone, today we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find distance or to find the distance between two points using the Pythagorean Theorem. Distance between two points. You can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance between any two points by drawing a right triangle. So you can count the length of both legs since they're made by a vertical line and a horizontal line. Then we just use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the hypotenuse. So let's look at a few examples. All right, so let's say we're given these two points on a coordinate plane and we're asked to find the distance between the two points, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So what we're gonna do is we can draw a line connecting the two points, but we also wanna draw a right triangle. And a right triangle we can draw with a vertical line and a horizontal line connecting these two points to look like this. So we're finding this distance, the distance between the two points, but by drawing a right triangle with a horizontal line and a vertical line, I can actually count the distance on a vertical line or count the distance on a horizontal line. I can't simply just estimate and say, oh, one, two, three, four, 4.5 or 4.7 or something like that. No, I'm not actually gonna come up with the correct answer for diagonals, but I can count the spaces for a horizontal line, one space, two space, three spaces, and I can count the spaces for a vertical line, one, two, three, four. Then I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, because the vertical line and horizontal line, those spaces are exact. They lined up exactly with the lines. They came out to be clean whole numbers so that I could put three and four in for the two legs. And they go in for the A and B. It doesn't matter which is which because the legs are interchangeable. And then now we're finding the C value. So remember Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So three squared is nine, four squared is 16. Then nine plus 16 is 25. And 25 equals C squared. And 25 wouldn't make sense for this distance. That's way too big. Um, we're looking for a number that's going to be greater than 3 and 4, but it's not going to be that many times greater. So we're not finding C squared. We're actually finding C. So to get from C squared to C, I want to take the square root of C squared is C. So square root this side. If I square root the right side, I need to square root the left side. Square root of C squared is C. And the square root of 25 is 5. So we have the distance from this point to this point is exactly five. Now, they all, won't always come out to be these nice whole numbers. A lot of times we end up with decimals, and in this case, our directions are telling us to round to the nearest hundredth, which, which is like rounding to the nearest penny, if we think of money. So let's look at a new example. Find the distance between the two points. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So we want to do the same thing. We want to draw a right triangle, and we want to be able to count the legs using vertical and horizontal lines. And I could draw this right triangle. Um, I could draw it from here to here or here down. So it doesn't matter if you draw it above it or below it. I drew mine there. And notice I have a vertical line or a horizontal line. And finding the hypotenuse will be finding the distance between the two points. Then I can count my spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. Remember, we're counting spaces, not lines. You get seven. Count spaces. One, two, three spaces. And then I'm going to put that into the Pythagorean theorem. Put it into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Three and seven are my two legs. And it can be three squared plus seven squared or seven squared plus three squared. But the missing side has to be the c, the hypotenuse. Then we could go ahead and work this out. 3 squared is 9, 7 squared is 49, 9 plus 49 is 58. Now, the square root of 58 is not one I know in my head. I'm going to have to put that in my calculator. I'm going to take the square root of c squared to get c, and I'm going to take the square root of 58. And the square root of 58 gives me a decimal that I round to 7.62. So the distance between these two points to the nearest hundred, 7. 62 hundredths. That is the distance between the two points. All right, one last example. Find the distance between the two points, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So we got a big triangle going on here, and we could draw it above it up into here, 
or we can draw it below it. Either way will give us the same work. I drew my right triangle below it with a vertical line and a horizontal line, and then I want to count my spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So I have eight for this side, and I have five for this leg. So my legs are eight and five, and we're finding the hypotenuse uh, using the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between the two points. So put in five for one leg, put in eight for the other. Five squared is 25, eight squared is 64. 25 plus 64 is 89 equals C squared. Then to get from C squared to C, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And in my calculator, I'm going to put in the square root of 89 and get 9.43. 9 and 43, one hundredths for C. And that makes sense. It's If this side is 5, this side is 8, we expect it to be bigger than the 8. This line looks just a little bit longer. Um, and so we get 9.43 is reasonable. 89, not a reasonable length for that hypotenuse. This is, these are not 89 apart if this is 5 and this is 8. Um, so make sure your answer makes sense. All right, I think you guys are ready to try one on your own. Let's try. Use a scale of one mile per unit. All right, so that means each space is going to represent one mile. Find the distance from the sled to the igloo. Round your answer to the nearest hundred. All right, you guys try this on your own, and then unpause the video to see how you did. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're finding the sled to the igloo, so I'm going to draw a giant right triangle connecting the two. And then I got some spaces to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight and eight. Well, the legs are the same. So I'm going to put in eight squared plus eight squared is going to equal C squared. Eight squared is 64 plus 64 is C squared. And I get 128. Am I done with 128? No, I'm not. 128 is equal to C squared. To get to C, take the square root of each side, put square root of 128 in my calculator, and I get 11.31, .31, which means 11.31 .31 miles from the sled to the igloo. 11.31 .31 miles. So use your properties of right triangles. Sometimes when you run into these on standardized tests, they don't even say the word distributive property. If you just looked at this original problem, um, you could draw the right triangle, but it doesn't say, hey, you need to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between those two points. Um, but Pythagorean theorem will give you an answer to the nearest tenth, the hundredth, thousandth, whatever um, you're asked around to. Um, otherwise, guessing is not a good method using the Pythagorean theorem, putting in the legs. That is a great method. So make sure you're combining using a great method with answering the question being asked. Um, so hope that helps you guys. Have a great day. O-U-T spells out.